And we really will keep this short and then invite you all to go out uh, and share some lemonade and cookies and we have some games for the children uh, and just have a little bit of relaxed and fun time. But I'd like to introduce uh, my wife, Anita Sherman, who along with Kristen Cheney are the coordinators of our Sunday School. And uh, as I said earlier, they've been working very hard uh, to really uh, have a, a safe uh, and, and good start to our Sunday School year. So uh, without further ado, let me introduce Anita and she can share the information with you. Good morning, everyone, and welcome, especially to all those who are present and whoever's watching online. We're so happy that you're here. Thank you for your patience and for staying for a few minutes. I promise this will be very brief. I'm just gonna share some information with you, and then question and answers we'll do outside. So you can come find me. Kristen's already outside at the registration table, or you can find any of the teachers who are wearing the blue ribbons, or Father Andrew, or Father Ben, or Gina. Find any of us if you'd like to uh, have a further conversation about anything that we're gonna talk about this morning, okay? So thanks, and welcome to everybody. So what we're doing today is, if everybody has not received one of these uh, Sunday School flyers, you can pick them up at the registration table. I'm just gonna quickly go through the information that's on this, but if you don't have it, you can pick one up out there, and of course, it is being shared online through our uh, digital resources as well. So for our in-person Sunday School, this has been a long time coming, and we're so happy that we're able to start doing this again this year. Of course, we're trying to do this faithfully and prayerfully and safely um, as best as we can. So for all ages, from three years all the way through high school, we are offering in-person classes. The times may be a little confusing. Confirmation classes. Confirmation classes start at 9, 10 a.m. 9, 10 a.m. outside on the South Lawn. And Father Andrew and Gina teach those classes. So if you're in the confirmation group, usually sixth, seventh, and eighth grade, and anybody else who is in the confirmation process, 9, 10 on the South Lawn of the church, just until we are through construction. And once we are through construction, hallelujah, we will hopefully we be able to meet in our newly renovated youth space. So yes, say a prayer for that, please. High schoolers, high schoolers will meet immediately after the confirmation class, 9.45 a.m. in the same spot on the South Lawn, again, until construction is over. Everybody else, so our godly play class, which is three-year-olds through kindergarten, will be in the godly playroom upstairs in our Sunday school hallway. First, second, and third graders, our catechesis of the Good Shepherd group, will be in the Good Shepherd room upstairs in Harris Hall. And the fourth and fifth grade class will also be in their classroom upstairs in Harris Hall. What we're asking everybody to do is come and check in at the table that is in the narthex, and then we will escort the younger children to class. We will have a group of volunteers, just like we've been doing for summer Sunday school, we will take the younger children up to class, simply because with all the construction confusion around, it's just too hard to say, oh, this week we're taking this route, next week we're taking this route. It's just too confusing and frankly not as safe. So if you can just come to the front of the church, we'll make sure you get where you need to be, okay? So anything else? Now, of course, we all have to remember, we're in a time of COVID, we're in a time of construction, so we've got the double whammy. And we are asking for God's grace to be humble, to be flexible, and to be patient as we go through this time. So if we can all work together, it is going to make all of our lives easier and we can do what we feel like we're called to do, which is to have a wonderful, wonderful enriching program for our children. So we're just asking for your continued patience and understanding while we do this. So with that being said, on the flip side of this document, we're gonna talk a little bit about risk and safety, okay? 
I would love to stand up here and say, if you come to in-person Sunday school at St. Gregory's, it is a 100% safe environment and 100% risk-free. How I'd love to be able to say that, but you know I can't, and I know I can't. So here we are, what does that mean? What we can do is we can keep learning, we can keep evolving and adjusting and adapting our safety protocols, we can work together, and most importantly, we can rely on God's grace, and we can trust in God to lead us through this. That is the number one thing. So the pandemic will most likely move into an endemic phase, which means that COVID is gonna be with us most likely in some form or another for some time to come. So we have to learn how to manage and how to live uh, in these times. So what do we do? We keep looking at our safety measures. We adjust as necessary. We stay humble. We keep asking for God's guidance. This is what we're going to do, um, how we're gonna proceed. So think of this, the best analogy that I could come up with when I was uh, putting this together was, think about driving. Most of us here, except for our you know, younger members, drive automobiles, right? So we have safety measures, we have seat belts, we have airbags, we have navigation systems, we have speed limits, we have police officers, we have rescue workers, we have highway safety, defensive driving techniques. We have all of this and yet we cannot be 100% assured of 100% safety when we are in an automobile because that type of safety just doesn't exist. What we can do is layer as much safety protocols as we can to give us the best level of safety that we can hope to accomplish. That's what we can do. So bear in mind that as we take precautions, even though they can be irksome, and we all know what we're talking about, covering up our faces even when it's hot, we know it can be irksome, it can be uncomfortable, uh, but it is a way, first and foremost, to love our neighbors, and that's what we are commanded to do. We are commanded to love our neighbors. So we are doing it for ourselves, for our children, and our families, and for everyone. So we're gonna ask that you follow our safety protocols uh, diligently, please, for ourselves and for everyone. So what are our safety measures that we are incorporating into our Sunday school right now? We're requiring masks for everyone, including children. Our vestry recently voted that for any in-person gatherings at church, that masks for everyone are mandatory. And this was a unanimous uh, consensus among the vestry. All our Sunday school teachers are fully vaccinated. We are putting HEPA filters into our classrooms because the latest research suggests that HEPA filtration will help to uh, mitigate the spread of the virus. We have hand sanitizing stations and all the teachers will have you know, Lysol and wipes and all the cleaning things that we need to keep our spaces uh, clean and healthy. Um, the classrooms will be thoroughly cleaned between uses. We're gonna follow physical distancing protocols. And we ask that you, if anybody feels ill, and we're talking even if you just have the sniffles, please stay home, okay? Please stay home. This is not to make anyone feel like a pariah or the other, as we were talking about in, um, you know, during the sermon time, but it's for the safety of everyone. Just stay home until you are well. And we ask that if you, parents, if you know that your child has been ex exposed to uh, COVID positive people, you get those messages from schools and wherever you know, um, our places of education are or wherever else, play group or wherever, if you find this out, please share this information with the church. We are doing our best to register people or excuse me, sign in everybody. Um, so please be diligent about that, about signing in. This is how we contact Trace. So if we find out that um, somebody has called us and said, you know, for sure my child either has um, COVID or has been exposed or is testing positive, please let us know. No judgment whatsoever. It is simply so that we can communicate with people and we can then follow the safety protocols that have, you know, quarantining whatever it is that we need to do. So please be diligent when you do come for Sunday school to sign in 
and make sure that we know, put your number down there, you know, in nice legible handwriting. I know I'm guilty of scrolling, but you know, in this case, try to make it as legible as possible so we can, if we need to quickly grab a list and say, okay, here are the people that were there that Sunday, we need to start making some phone calls and that's what we're gonna do. And finally, we have to always circle back around to, we have to trust God in guiding us through this. We have to keep praying, we have to keep being faithful, and we have to do our best to work together as a community of faith and a community of love to do the best that we can for each other and for our children. So I'm so happy to see all of you here today and for our community watching online. We really ask that you join us in this effort to love our children, and if you can't be here in person, please lift, lift us up in prayer and hold us in your hearts, and that's what we can do. If we can't be here physically, we can always send our prayers up, and we know that God is faithful and that God is going to hear our prayers and bless our ministry. And the final word again, grace, humility, flexibility, and patience, okay? So thank you everyone for staying, and if you'd like to join us now outside, Kristen is outside at the registration table. If you haven't registered, you can do it online, or she can register you right there. There's lemonade and there's cookies, okay? Thanks everybody, bye.